Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to discuss whether men can stay attracted to their wives even as they age. You know, nope. So this is a talking point in the Manosphere Red Pill dating communities uh, online and that is, look, when you're older, when you're a man and you get older and you're married to your wife, you're going to be less attracted to her necessarily because she's going to be old too. If it, you both get married when you're 25, it seems great. But beware, because you're both going to be 50 or 55 one day. You as a man could potentially be rather attractive. A woman, doesn't doesn't matter what she does biologically, she's just going to be less attractive. And uh, I think this is very emblematic of where the manosphere is coming from. It's true, but it lacks perspective. From the manosphere's perspective of where they are in their stage of development, I would say, which Again, I think the manosphere is great and it can really be helpful for a guy who, for any guy out there who thinks that every woman, not only uh, do they have your best interest in, at heart, but they should. Every woman should have their your best interest at heart. If you're a young guy out there who thinks that maybe the manosphere is a step in the right direction for you, but it's only a step. And I think that is indicative that this perspective that you're going to necessarily lose attraction for your wife as she ages is part of or it's just one aspect one manifestation of that narrow perspective i, I mean look it, it, it's just a matter of you lack the capability to understand what you're talking about so i guess i don't know if this analogy makes too much sense but let's say you, you didn't know what a plane was let's say you, you simply didn't know what a player a plane was a, a jetliner was and your buddy said yeah i flew from california to new york in six hours you would say, well, that's impossible. You, you don't have wings. How, how could you possibly do that? No, I really did. No, you're lying. And from the guy's perspective of who doesn't know what a plane is, he's right. You know, but he, he lacks perspective. There's this other capability called flying, called, look, if you create a wing or this whole fuselage that creates air pressure or different areas on it, it it's going to lift, even if it weighs thousands of tons. You lack that perspective. And that's what's going on here at the Manosphere. They say, look, it, you're both 55. You, as a man, objectively, are more, could potentially be more attractive than a 55-year-old woman. It doesn't make sense. And, uh, yeah, this is a question I got from a, a viewer, from a listener. And, yeah, they make the point that the Manosphere probably uh, exaggerates how attractive a man can be later in life. Yeah, man, of course, potentially can be more attractive. But if you're 50, 55... You need to be, it's not, it's not just money, you just got to be attractive. You got to be a well-connected guy. And even then, I mean, in my experience, this is an aside, women who are, that there are women who are open to dating guys who are older. And, and I guess by older, I would mean 10 or 15 plus years. Uh, but it's about half. So like, I think half a 25-year-old woman would be open to dating a guy who's 40, let's say. You know, if he has, if he's an attractive guy and everything, and then half just simply would. It doesn't matter how attractive you are. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter. So that's, I don't know. You can still do it, but it, it just becomes more difficult. Fine, whatever. That's an aside. That's really not relevant to my main point here. So the man is fear is the guy who doesn't know what the plane is. Says, well, there, there's no way you could possibly fly across the country in six hours. There's no way you could possibly stay attractive to your wife, even if you're both 55, because you're just biologically more attractive than she is. And aside from the hormonal changes that happen, aside from the fact that your wife still, even if she's 50, 55, if she takes care of herself, maybe good genetics can still be attractive. Aside from all that stuff, there is a way to connect with somebody that the manosphere doesn't understand. That's why I think the manosphere is a great step. But again, it's only a step. And what the manosphere doesn't understand, you know, if the analogy carries over, the uh, not understanding what a plane is that carries over to just not understanding what emotional initiation is. You know, a lot of guys who get trapped in the manosphere, they do not understand that there's a way to connect with somebody on a deep emotional level. They hear people say that. And usually what they are are these, you know, soy boy guys on, on Twitter, the, you know, beta male, soy boy, whatever you want to call them. And they think, well, being a beta male, soy boy kind of guy is wrong. Therefore, everything they say about emotions is necessarily wrong, and that's not true. Everything they say about emotions is somewhat skewed, but there is a way to connect with people, especially your wife, in an emotional way that 
adds something extra to the relationship. You know, it creates this numinous, this supernatural, almost magical seeming kind of experience. I mean, this is what Jung talks about with uh, the Holy Ghost. You know, this is what he thinks the Holy Ghost represents. It's the Father and the Son, the object and the subject, reality and the individual coming together. And when they connect, it creates this numinous third thing that is more powerful than either the father or the son, or that the father or the son couldn't create on their own. Of course, you know, it makes the extra point. You need, you need the, not just the father and the son, the father and, and Christ, you need the antichrist in there too. The Christ and the antichrist come together, the conscious and the unconscious, the supports of the paternity. Again, a little bit of an aside there, but, so that's what's going on, is if you have not reached the stage of emotional initiation, if you have not learned how your emotions work, what they are, how to connect with other people in an emotional way that, you know, doesn't drain them in any way, that really doesn't make you look weak in any way, but in, in a sense make you look strong. You're not doing it for that purpose, but when you understand emotions and how they work, you can connect with somebody in a way that makes you stronger. Then it creates this third thing, you know, this, this Holy Ghost numinous experience, and, and that is more powerful than biology, especially when you're 50 or 55. So of course, it's can you maintain attraction for your wife even if she gets old? Of course, but only if you know how to initiate yourself emotionally. And this is the, these are the stages of adult development that we talk about here at Animus. You know, our version of the stages of adult development. You know, there's PAJ and, and Eric Erickson. Well, just Erickson. Jung has his stages PAJ. That's childhood neurological brain development. But the principles are the same. There are these stages that we need to go through based on who we are. This isn't like my opinion. I mean, this is based on who we are as a species. These are stages of initiation we need to go through. First, we need to separate from our parents. Then we need to learn how to be alone. You know, these are, are a lot of guys going in, in monk mode, for example. They, these are guys going through their solitary stage of adult development. Hopefully, they're, they're doing it because they've separated from their parents in a healthy way. If they haven't, then they're probably not going to learn too much about being from being on their own and then after you learn to be on your own uh, you got to learn how to make friends and then from there you get sexual initiation this is where a lot of guys get stuck in the ministry it's all about the sexual initiation and that's a, again a great stage to go through but if you're going through it for 10 years then it's probably not that helpful and then you need to move on to emotional initiation and this is where you can Understand where your actions come from, understand where your thoughts and actions come from, relate with other people on an emotional level. And that is what creates the attraction for years, for decades. Then after that, there's generativity initiation. But again, very emblematic of the manosphere. It goes back to the problem of, and this isn't just the manosphere, you know, other, um, I guess, groups online communities, they all have a, a problem like this, of these blind spots, and they can get their facts right. But just because you get the facts right doesn't mean that they matter in any sense. J just because you can look at a soy boy or beta male online who's talking about emotions, and you can say, well, the way that he's talking about it is incorrect. That doesn't mean everything that you have to say about emotions is correct, and that doesn't mean every ex extrapolation you have from your own worldview, from your own limited, not wrong, but limited worldview is not going to be that helpful. You can be correct, but if you lack perspective, it simply doesn't matter. And hopefully that's what we can add. W one of the things that we can add to the conversation here at Animus is like, yeah, we can understand where uh, the manosphere is coming from. We can understand where maybe soy boy, I don't know, keep saying that, where soy boy guys online are coming from. And they're both correct in their own way, but it's just like different sides of the same coin. Um, and that's, we, not that we can bind them, but we can just see how they're both correct and develop a new way, develop our own Holy Ghost kind of numinous experience based on the combination of these two, to put it simply, maybe not totally correctly, but simply. So that's what we do here at Animus animusempire.com slash schedule we do free consultations if you're curious at all you know if you're 20 years old and you just want to go out and meet a bunch of girls you know maybe we're not for you probably will be at some point but maybe right now this isn't what you need we can help you with the sexual initiation definitely but we can keep going further 
Um, so again, animusempire.com slash schedule. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, just because, oh, I, I guess I should say that I, I'm for this next month, for the month of March, I'm, I'm still going to post videos, but I, I don't know if I'm going to post a podcast every week. I'm not going to stick my regular schedule. So this is a question from a listener. I'll, I'll probably still answer listener questions. So just so you know, for the next month, the video post schedule is going to be a tad erratic and probably not as much. So I'll leave it there. And remember, just because you have your facts right doesn't mean you know how to tell the truth.